Finally tonight, our special series, Making a Difference, and the story of one man who decided to give to others through the trade he knows best. NBC's Rahema Ellis caught up with him as he helped some young New Yorkers get set for school with a new spring in their step. They came in droves, by foot, by bus. More than 300 New York City children, all hoping for something. I want a new pair of Jordans. School's around around the corner, and um, we need shoes. I'm gonna get some shoes, guys. And Wayne Elsie is making well, sure these kids start school on them. the right foot. I've been in the shoe industry since I was 15, and you know, I said, hey, it's my time to give back. His concept is simple. Oh, I want the pink one, thank you. Provide free shoes to people who need them. With this here, it gives a helping hand to me as a parent. So seven years old, eh? His dream started with one shoe. I was sitting on the couch watching TV and I saw a single shoe float up on the shore after the tsunami and it bothered me. And I didn't sleep that night and I woke up the next day. You should try to do something about this. Down low. Oh, you got me. And so was born Souls for Souls. Elsie gave up his job as president of a shoe company to run the charity full time. Donating a quarter of a million shoes for tsunami survivors, more than a million to victims of Hurricane Katrina. Altogether, more than three million shoes to people in need from Honduras to Mexico to Swaziland. It puts them in the right step. It really gives them a firm foundation, a bounce in their life, if you will, to do the right thing. For Americans who buy lots of shoes, Elsie says doing the right thing would be to donate the more than one billion shoes that sit idle in closets to people who don't have the same luxuries. The simplicity and the easiness of a pair of shoes, you know, can change a life. It can save a life. I like them. Making a difference one step at a time. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. That's NBC Nightly News for this Sunday.